Beth is what we call a four-foot striker. She actually strikes in what we call four-foot varus, or in some supination, meaning most of her strike is in the outer two-thirds of her forefoot. So she needs a flexible shoe that allows that to flex, and the orthotic has to accommodate that. She doesn't need a lot of heel buildup because she's not really a heel striker, and you don't see an abnormal uh, wear pattern at either heel of her shoes. Now, one of the first things we did to help compensate so that the brace would work effectively and fit well was to make some custom orthotics for Beth. And these have been tweaked a few times since we first made them. We first made them with just a correction for the leg length difference, so this one's quite a bit thicker than this orthotic. We did find, though, that as she ran, she puts a fair amount of pressure on her forefoot, and, and so we added a little additional padding to this one as it got worn down a bit. This is on the good side, where she's getting even a little more push off than on the brace side. On the brace side, though, as she came to more normal form, we found out she was getting pressure up under her forefoot. So we added a pad here to bring the support for that. So this one has both a pad to support the forefoot pressure that she started getting after we corrected her running form, and also a lift that's built into the orthotic. So you notice once she's put the orthotic in that the position of the strut, this particular shoe allows that strut not to push in on the area of the actual ankle. So the position is neutral in this shoe with the orthotic in place. If she buys new shoes, I want her taking both the orthotic and the, and the brace with her so that she can make sure that's fitting correctly. When she fits the shoe, the orthotic goes in easily and that's the side that's not braced. There's, that's not any different than really putting on your regular shoe. Now on this side, she needs to make sure the laces are loose enough so that she can get her foot into place, slide in so the heel is firm and in a neutral position. And then once she has the shoe laced, she'll adjust the Velcro straps so that it feels snug. She doesn't want it overly tight. And you'll notice she uses a little bit of padding in this area not to get pressure on the actual brace, which is another way we can customize the braces.